All right. Well, thanks, Dylan. Well, the Lexington Public Library serves over 300,000 people through a central library, five neighborhood branches, and an active community education department, and rapidly expanding virtual services. And the library resources aren't for just those young whippersnappers. Joining us today to talk about this is Ann Donworth. Thank you for being here today, Ann. Thanks for having me. Okay, so first of all, let's talk a little bit about the vast array of resources that the Lexington Public Library sure. offers. Of course. So obviously, we all think of books when we think of the library. And right. There are tons and tons of books, um, and those come in print or digital format, or even digital audiobook format, if uh -huh. you prefer. Yeah. Um, so really trying to get reading materials out into everyone's hands. But the libraries are so much more than that. There mm -hmm. are they're really community centers. Um, they have access to internet and computer usage, be that for a job application or to scan something, to print whatever you need. As people are often rem working remotely these days. Yeah. Um, all about programs and youth development, uh, but really it's something there for everyone. There really is. And okay, and you actually have a really wonderful announcement to make today yes. for one of the branches here in Lexington too. Yes. So the library purchased the site that where our village branch library sits on Versailles Road. Okay. Um, the plan is to demolish that existing building mm -hmm. and then to build a two-story building. And yesterday we announced the lead gift for the capital campaign to be part of that uh, is from the Marksbury Family Foundation. So mm -hmm. the, the new branch when it opens will be the Marksbury Family Branch there on Versailles Road. So that, we're, we're very excited. That is fantastic. It really is. Now, um, talk to us about the community that that branch in particular sure. is going to be servicing. So that location, it's along Versailles Road, kind of in that Cardinal Valley, Oxford Circle area. Right. We've been there for 15, actually 17 years now. Uh -huh. um, it's a really, really wonderful area. There are a lot of people, a lot of people that live very close by within walking distance, mm -hmm. um, a large international and immigrant population there, um, and a lot of Spanish speaking people in that area. So yeah. this was really where our library system piloted and, and developed bilingual li library services, mm -hmm. a lot of great social work uh, partnerships that d different nonprofit groups come in and provide services. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a really, really robust program there. And we're so excited to see what can happen with a full-size building. Yes, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the planning process for this. I mean, how involved was this? <laughs> it's, it's been a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> Um, it started off, honestly, in 2018-19, we did a master facilities plan, and yeah. what we heard from people all across Fayette County was that Village and Versailles Road needed to be our first priority. Mm -hmm. So we were able to buy the site where Village Branch currently sits mm -hmm. in the, at the end of 2020, nothing like going through the purchasing process in the middle of a pandemic. Right. Um, <laughs> So we have been working with the local architects at EOP and then public library experts are called Group 4. They're based in San Francisco mm -hmm. um, to do all of our community engagement. Again, complicated by the pandemic. Right. Um, so we are just finalizing our designs right now and then we hope we'll be able to go out to bid um, over the summer and be able to break ground this summer. That's so fantastic. It's That's all, we, are, we have raised uh, about half 50 percent of what we need to raise in order to to make this project come all the way through so we're, we're very excited to have it be in the public phase at this point that is awesome that is wonderful and where can people find out more information the best place to go is our is our website okay. lexpublib.org mm -hmm. and then there's actually a backslash village and you can see all of the information there wonderful well thank you so much for being with us congratulations on the new uh, building as well thank you it's uh -huh. exciting <laughs> and we'll be back right after this keep it right here you're watching good day kentucky